All right, back to our team coverage of the weather. This is the second wild, wet winter we've had in a row coming off the heels of years of drought. Remember when we were talking about the drought? So the question is, what does all this mean for our future? Well, ABC 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky asked an expert about floods, tornadoes, El Nino, and how climate change is affecting all of it. San Diego has almost had a year's worth of rain in just the last month. It's exactly what scientists were thinking last year when they said a strong El Nino pattern was shaping up in the Pacific. Any particular one you wouldn't probably call an El Nino storm, but this kind of family of what we're, we're seeing is, um, is resembling what we've seen in past El Ninos. Dan Kane has researched climate for more than 40 years at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego. He says the kinds of powerful storms we've been seeing take a combination of factors. In this case, El Nino and an atmospheric river aimed like a metaphorical fire hose at San Diego. Hanging over all that is climate change. In the future, warmer temperatures will likely mean fewer storms. Fewer, but more powerful. It's kind of what we've already experienced, but maybe maybe a bit amplified. Amplified storms are more likely to overwhelm our storm systems, so that could mean more flooding, especially in our coast communities during El Ninos. There's kind of a double whammy. This, the ocean waters tend to be a bit higher, and then storms tend to be more active. I asked Kane if tornado warnings like we saw this week will become more common. He thinks not. In fact, some of the forces producing these stronger storms actually push away the factors that cause tornadoes. That's probably not going to be a big part of our future. It could happen occasionally. But while we're focused on rain, Kayan says these strong storm cycles will be interspersed between years of drought. Hotter and drier droughts, and then when the rain comes, stronger, more powerful rain. Exactly. Yeah, I have a talk that I give is, you know, California's wetter and drier future. <laughs> Jeff Lasky, ABC 10 News. Today, experts from NOAA said there is about an 80% chance that El Nino will end this spring. They also say it's looking like La Nina conditions will begin to form this summer.